So, hi guys! Welcome sa panibagong video tutorial natin. So, ngayong araw, pag-uusapan natin yung log range interpolating polynomial. So, meron tayong problem. So, sabi sa problem, given the ordered pairs 5, 12, 6, 13, 9, 14, and 11, 16, use log range interpolating polynomial to estimate the coordinates 10, comma, y. So, in this problem, we are going to estimate the value of x or the value of f of x which is y when x is equals to 10. So as you can see yung 10 is nasa boundary between 9 and 11. So yung value ng 10 natin is in between of 14 to 16 since yung trend ng ating graph is increasing. So here we're going to find f sub 10. Okay? So to solve So I have write the given. So translate ko lang yung table format ng given natin into this format para madali nating ma-identify yung x sub 0, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 and likewise ganun din sa function natin. Okay? And now we're going to write the solution. So this is my specific formula for this problem. So f of x is equals to f of x sub 0 which is i-multiply natin yung f of x sub 0 sa term na to. So madali lang siya tatandaan kasi may pattern siya. Kung x sub 0 dito Meaning, dito sa taas, walang x sub 0. So, dito, i-skip mo yung x minus x sub 0 kasi x sub 0 yung sinubstitute dito. So, magpo-proceed ka sa x minus x sub 1, x minus x sub 2, x minus x sub 3. So, sa baba, uh, magiging consistent sa first term yung x sub 0 kasi nandito siya. So, x sub 0 minus x sub 1, x sub 0 minus x sub 2, x sub 0 minus x sub 3. So, sa pangalawang term, f of x sub 1 naman. So, dito, x minus x sub 0. Dito, i-skip mo yung x sub 1. So, magpo-proceed ka na sa x minus x sub 2 and x minus x sub 3. So, sa denominator, magiging consistent sa una yung x sub 1. So, x sub 1 minus x sub 0. So, i-skip mo yung x sub 1. So, proceed ka na sa x sub 2. So, x sub 1 minus x sub 2 and x sub 1 minus x sub 3. So, sa third term, f of x sub 2. So, sa numerator, x minus x sub 0, x minus x sub 1, Dito, skip mo yung x sub 2, magpo-proceed ka na sa x sub 3. x minus x sub 3. Sa so, denominator, ganun lang din. x sub 2 minus x sub 0. x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Dito, skip mo ulit yung x sub 2 and magpo-proceed ka sa x sub 3. So, ganun lang din until ma-reach natin yung x sub 3, which is yung maximum given natin na uh, value ng x. And then, uh, since na-plot na natin yung specific equation, now, it's time for us na i-substitute yung mga given natin sa ating equation. So, yung uh, 12, substitute natin sa f of 0. Yung x sub 0, papalitan natin ng 5. So, on and so forth. So, isusulat ko lang yung mga uh, at isa-substitute ko na. So, ito yung magiging muka ng ating equation once na i-substitute na natin yung given sa equation na to. So, ito na yung magiging uh, equation ng f of x natin we consider sa ating mga given. Now, it's time for us, yung hinahanap kasi yung values ng f of y or f of x when x is equal to 10. So, now it's time for us to substitute f when x is equals to 10. So, yung mangyayari, yung lahat ng makita nating variable x, papalitan natin ng uh, 10. So, i so isusulat ko muna. So, ito na yung magiging itsura niya. So, pinalitan ko yung x ng 10 and ito na siya. Now, as you can see, wala nang variable na nakikita dito. So, now, uh, it is easy for you to use your calculator and solve manually. And then, uh, i-add mo lang lahat. Yung first term, second term, third and fourth term. I-add mo lang yan all in all. And yung value ng x, f of x sub 10 is uh, equivalent lang sa summation ng term na to. So, isosolve natin yan. And yung nakukuha nating value is So solving this far Makukuha natin na yung F of 10 is equals to 14.6667 Okay So finally nakuha na natin yung value ng Y when X is equals to 10 Using language interpolating polynomials So that's all for today guys And I hope na natutunan kayo For this kind of video And God bless